Hey guys, Lupo here. So, I want to talk to you guys about Izuku Midoriya's new ability. He's learning how to harness one for all the right way, the more efficient way. So, I know you've all seen that episode, like Class 1A, they're all taking their internships in various hero agencies. So, Izuku, he's training with All Might's previous teacher, right? And then, suddenly, after seeing um, the snacks, the fish snacks being like microwaved, he, he, there was an analogy there. Like, Izuku was only using one for all in a specific part of his body, 100%, right? So that's why every time he does like pop, smash, he breaks his bones. But then he thought, okay, a revelation happened. Like, what if I leave it on, leave one for all on, throughout coursing, throughout the entire body. He coined it. One for all. Full calling. Full calling. So like, whoa, dude, he's, he's, he's doing it. He's learning a more efficient way of harnessing one for all. That was so cool. And what's even cooler is he learned it in a very mundane situation. He wasn't like fighting the League of Villains or like with his hero friends saving people from like a calamity. It was, it was basically in an old guy's house. They were eating snacks and he, he learned it. What does that say about Izuku Midoriya? He has a very keen mind. Like even when he didn't have his powers yet, he was able to like, he studied a lot. He studied every hero, their moves, their mindsets, their fighting styles, their... Why do they do the things they do? So, I think All Might did a pretty good job, like a good decision, like, okay, this kid, this kid, Izuku Midoriya, he is a worthy successor. He will be the next symbol of peace. Like, there were so many moments throughout, like, throughout the like season one episodes when, like, Oh, I just teared up. It's like, even you can be a hero. Then like, yeah. And like, so yeah, that's awesome.